Hello friends, today I will tell you how to create or how to generate PWM signal using NI MyRio. So first of all, I create a project. I am selecting MyRio over here and in MyRio, MyRio project. Here is my my Rio. It is already connected. You have to just click finish on it, and a new project window will be open. It is under progress, and here is my new window. And this is inbuilt VI. I am creating a new VI over here, and this is deleted so there are mainly two ways you can using these two ways you can generate pwm signal so first one is using express bi just go to my rio and over here there is a pwm express vi you have to just find out the pwm pin over my Rio. In this case, I am using port C pin configuration. So it will take some time according to the speed of your laptop or your processor. So over here, these are the PWM pins. In A port, we have three on b port again we have three and in c port we have only two right now i am selecting pwm0 di03 and just click ok now for continuous reading i just place this into a while loop and over here i am creating control signal for duty cycle and control signal for frequency in this program i am changing these two values basically the duty cycle and the frequency according to these two these changes you can observe the output on dso dso is digital storage oscilloscope in this i am connecting ground to the ground and positive to the do3 pin now you have to just run this program and it will take some time in deployment you have to save this and you can check the output and by varying the duty cycle you can observe the change in DSO and when I and next when I change the frequency you can check the output as well for the duty cycle change and for the frequency change so this is the one way now i can stop this and here is the another way now you have to go to my rio and over here we have low level programming in this you have to just go to digital not digital into pwm you have to lock this first you have to open then set the duty cycle and after that close if you want to set the frequency also 
then you can place this block also you have to just connect error to error and function to real function to real function in this case the chances of error is minimum so over here you have to select your pin like in this case pwm0 is already connected so i am connecting i am selecting the port c pwm0 pin and over here you can set the duty cycle and you can set the frequency so for the frequency it is not required so and for error handling i am just connecting a simple error handler and this is the control for duty cycle and this is the control for frequency and again you have to run the program again it will take some time for deployment and you can check again the output on dso when i change the duty cycle from 0 0.5 to 0 0.2 and 0 0.8 and the for the frequency also when the frequency changes to 2000 uh, hertz and again when it changes to 1000 hertz and then it is changed to 2000 hertz you can observe the response thank you